Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 video today and so today is finally the day I build my very own laundry room using the new laundry day stuff pack that came out a couple days ago and I'm so happy because when I was building this I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to build a generic upstairs small nook cranny laundry room. But then I thought, you know what? No, 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 no. I want to build a basement one because I built a basement laundry room a couple days ago for my new Let's Play and it looks so cool. And so I decided to kind of replicate that along with some photo references on Pinterest. And I put those two together and it came to like this. It didn't, I don't know why, but I love building so much because I was like in a, I was in a building funk for a couple of days and that's why I didn't build a lot. And now that I'm, I'm kind of getting more inspired with a new pack and Pinterest and Twitter, Millennial Sims Builds on Twitter, I am just seriously so inspired to build. And so if you guys have like any building ideas that I should do in The Sims 4 or Sims 3 or Sims 2 or Sims 1, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely try my best to put your ideas into my builds and see what will happen. Yeah, <laughs> so I was kind of getting the vibes of mid-century modern, suburban, and this is what what happened, and I really like, I love, I'm not even joking, I love mid-century modern so much, it's not even funny, because ever since Bowling Night stuff came out, I immediately went full hammer on mid-century modern builds, like I built, I built, I think about five to six houses of mid-century modern from like this company that I found on online, that was fun. I'm still doing it to this day because it's so much fun to build mid-century modern. But along with like, you know, I love Mad Men, the TV show, um, The Brady Bunch, Incredibles, and Kim Possible. And stuff like that has to be with mid-century modern I really, really love. Because the Kim Possible house, their house was mid-century modern. The Incredibles house was mid-century modern. And I really adore that stuff so much and plus no the brady bunch everyone knows the brady bunch because they're like a family of eight no they're a family of no 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 they're a family of eight people no four and four no fam yeah a family of eight with living in a mid-century modern home in california and it's so cool because i found the house in real life and i found some reference photos online but we don't really have constraint for elevation to really so I can really like replicate that and kind of build it in The Sims 4. I can try it in The Sims 2 and 3, but I have to work all my skills with Constraint for Elevation a little bit more in The Sims 2 and 3 because I don't build a lot in those games and I want to try and build a lot more because I know a lot of you guys don't really have The Sims 4 or don't really like The Sims 4 or don't really, you just don't want to have it, but you only, but you have The Sims 3 or 2 or 1, whatever you have to I want to try my best to build a lot more in those games so you guys can have my builds in your game and you kind of just have fun. And I know one person in my comments, I can't remember who, but they tweeted me a photo and they also commented on one of my videos that they actually rebuilt one of my apartments that I did for the Sims 2 project that I'm working on. It's, I think it was called the West Side Apartments. Can't remember what the build name was, but it was one of those builds. It was a Sims 2 build and I was literally like, whoa. Hold up, you spent how long on that build? But you, you replicated my build and that is like so cool. I just, I literally love seeing you guys, like seeing you guys uh pictures that you send me on Twitter or Instagram or whatever and seeing your Sims in my builds, but also you guys like replicating or like renovating or whatever you do with my builds. And I'm like, wow, I built that and you guys renovated to your own liking. That's even better. I love seeing that stuff a lot. And you know, if you guys want to like renovate or rebuild or recreate it let me know because i would love to see your builds that you do with my builds and obviously give me credit because i'm i mean i built it first and you built a second but you know we're not going to talk about that right now kind of but you know it's all good it's all good but i really love i just have to say i really love the new well not really new i love the parented wallpaper like the tiling wallpaper it fits so well with the like the nice clean flooring with the tile flooring and just the random tables it just, it makes it work. And I encourage everyone to really try and build a lot more, you know, because practice makes perfect. And the better, the more that you build, the better that you get. Because when I started building in The Sims in general, I was really, really, really terrible. And it was so frustrating because I never could, I couldn't think of new ideas or I couldn't build because I was always like built boxes, houses, and never really kind of put into detail in my houses because it just didn't really make any sense. So I thought, you know, I wanted to like take a step back and think about it and plan stuff out 
and see what I can do and kind of just practice before I press, press the record button. And that's what I usually do. I practice my builds before, before pressing the record button because I feel like whenever I press the record button, I feel pressured and I feel a lot rushed and I don't like being rushed a lot in real life. And so I try to practice before I do stuff. And so I encourage you guys to practice before you press that record button because recording means it's recording everything that you do in real time. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but seriously, I really, really, really do love this. And I encourage you guys using clutter as well. Clutter is your best friend. Like clutter means it can be messy, but it can be real, real good. So I found this, um, um, clutter item in the debug category section and it's like wooden planks that you can place onto the wall and I literally I am not even kidding is literally the best object in the game right now because it's a I think it's a base game one or outdoor retreat I can't remember but I use that thing on the wall and I place like paintings on the wall as well it's like you know make them look like they're sitting onto like that little wooden plank because I feel like it adds character to your walls and, and it makes your walls more full and not empty. Because I hate empty space and I like to fill every single nook and cranny and corners. It just makes me feel a lot better about myself and a lot better about my builds. And when I was placing like these little bird seed boxes, I interpret them as um, not, well, yeah, no, no, no. Laundry detergent, like that powder stuff. Like you have like the liquid detergent and then you have like this, um, no, it's like, no, 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 it's laundry detergent, and then you have the softener. Either one's like that little powdery whatever thing. I interpreted those bird seeds as that, and it, it just looks, it looks cool, even though it has a bird on the front. Let's just say it's, um, it's Canary the laundry detergent, not like Deborah, Deborah the laundry detergent, but you know, <laughs> it's good. Oh, let me tell you about the time I recorded my, my voiceover, well, my, my review video for the laundry day stuff pack. I am not even kidding. I had so much fun recording th those videos. Well, that one video, because a lot of you guys were cracking up of my reaction. <laughs> it was too funny because I was I was just being so dramatic because I was being so extra at, as I usually am because I'm always extra, and I don't know why I always do it, but I I. I feel like whenever someone watches a video of mine, I want them to feel like they're at home. They feel welcome. They feel like they can laugh and, and be entertained. And so that's what I try to do in my videos. I don't know. I'm generally not always this happy and cheery. I'm sometimes sad, sometimes depressed, but you know, we're not going to talk about that right now, okay? <laughs> but no, I feel like that if people want to come to my to my channel, I want to sound as happy and cheery and energetic and entertaining as possible. And so. I try to, I try to bring out my extra side. <laughs> I wasn't always this extra. Like back in high school, I think around, uh, let's just say, okay, let's do like junior high and eighth grade. I was like a very quiet, semi happy child because I was in choir and I was, and I made friends and that was fun. But then when I got into high school, freshman year, I kid you not, I was, so <laughs> I was so loud. I was so extra. I don't know why. I guess because I was in show choir and choir and I was also like in some random clubs as well in high school and it was just, it was a lot and I made friends and I guess making friends, you have to be like, you know, um, happy sometimes, but also tell them about your problems and whatnot. Cause you know, it's, it's, it makes you feel better talking about your problems. And so I thought, you know, I could be this loud extra person in high school and make this like, make these tons of friends, which I did and it worked. Um, <laughs> don't try it cause my method is just too much and too extra, but seriously, I just had a lot of fun and I guess when like throughout high school, cause ever since I did show choir for four years, I was more happier and more open and I guess I just never really expressed my other side of me being happy and so I guess me being happy times 10 became extra AF as for doodles times 100 in videos cause you have to be like, you know, People don't want to watch a monotone, boring person person on YouTube because they're monotone and it can get kind of boring. And I feel like people want to watch more energetic, happy themselves. Like they people people don't people want to watch um, sometimes happy and energetic, but.
but also they want to watch people who are themselves and original and entertaining. So that's what I try to be. And that's, I think that's what I am. I think I'm original and entertaining and energetic and happy. So it, it fits my bill. It fits my channel. Spring Sims got to be happy, bright, colorful, pink, yellow, blue, and white. That S right there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, actually wrap up this voiceover right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me think down in the comments below as always. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.